Julie. Welcome to my channel. You're watching Treasures Made From Yarn. In this video I'm just going to show you how to make this small ribbed hat. I mean these turned out pretty, they're pretty small. They're, they're, they're kind of doll sized. Or for a preemie. Or the option to make it slightly bigger to fit a newborn baby. So, without further ado, let's get started to show you how I make this hat. Right, to make our baby hat, we are going to use this Caron Simply Soft, Simply Soft Yarn that I had left over and a size H hook. So we are going, the, my original pattern calls to make a chain four ring, but we're going to make a magic ring. We're going to chain three. And that counts as our double crochet. And then we're going to do 11 more double crochets in our ring. We should have a level 11 or we should have 12 double crochets which includes well actually we should have one chain three and 11 actual double crochets so that our chain three counts as one two three ten okay so we have 12 or one chain three and 11 double crochets so we're going to pull our ring shut or if you did a or if you did a chain four ring so we are going to join with our, yeah, this, this could be the hard part, joining with the top of the chain three, which is a little difficult. Sometimes if I get, you know, sometimes I just, can sometimes just join with the front one. I think it probably looks better to do both of them. Or sometimes I'll just go, sometimes I'll just go in like this space, the space that's in there, and then just kind of join that way. And then we'll do our chain. So we're chaining three for our next round. So what we're going to do now next is going to do a front post double crochet around this chain three from the previous row. So do the front post. We would start our double crochet as normal. And then we're going to go around the front, around the front of this, in this case, it'll be our chain three. And do a double crochet like normal. So on our next double crochet, we're going to do a normal double crochet. But around that same double crochet, we're going to do a front post double crochet again, which is that we're going around our double crochet. So you're going to repeat that around the double crochet in the double crochet. And a front post double crochet around that exact same double crochet that way we are increasing each stitch and we're going to have 24 like double crochets or, or, or we're going to have 12 regular double crochets and 12 front post double crochets so I'm going to repeat that around and then I'll show you what to do next So we are joining with our, finished around and we're joining with our chain three. So for our next round, we're going to start off again by chaining three. And the next, and in the next double crochet, we're going to do another front post, 
double crochet and then in that exact same double crochet we're going to do a regular double crochet in that same stitch All right, so in the next double crochet we're going to do a front post double crochet Then we're going to go on to the next double crochet. We're going to do a no regular double crochet in that stitch. And around that same stitch, we're going to do a front post double crochet. And then in the next stitch is a back post double crochet. Now I haven't showed you how to do the back post double crochet yet. And so we start our double crochet as normal, but we're, instead of going around the front, we're going to go around the back of the post of the double crochet. And then we complete our double crochet as normal. Okay, so we're going to repeat that section we just did. So I will show you again because there was a lot there. So to repeat this part, the next stitch is a front post double crochet and then in that same stitch we're going to do a normal double crochet so that one was an increase the next double crochet is not an increase so the next one we're going to do a front post double crochet And then we're going to move on to the next double crochet, which will be an increase. So we're going to put a double crochet like normal in the stitch first. Oops. And then around that same stitch, we're going to do a front post double crochet. And then the next stitch is a back post double crochet. All right, I'm going to repeat that pattern again. The next stitch is a front post double crochet. And then we do a double crochet in that exact same double crochet. Then the next stitch is a front post double crochet. And in the next stitch we do a regular double crochet first. And then in the and in that exact same stitch we do a front post, double crochet, then the next stitch is a back post, double crochet. I know that is a lot for a repeat, because I think we're going to repeat that one more time, and then it'll be a partial one. So I'm going to show you, okay, I suppose I'll keep going, we'll keep going along. So, again, next stitch was a front post. Same stitch is a regular double crochet. The next stitch was just a front post around the double crochet. Next stitch, we do a double crochet. Like normal and then we're going to do a front post double crochet around the same stitch. The next stitch is a back post double crochet. No, 
we're getting close to the end here. So again, if you got it, a front next stitch is a front post. Double crochet. And the exact same stitch or double crochet is a normal double crochet. The next stitch, we're doing a front post double crochet. Next stitch, we are doing a double crochet. And in that same double crochet, we're doing a double, or front post double crochet. And in the back post in the next one. All right, so now that we notice we are getting close to the end here and we're not gonna have enough here to finish off the repeat. So we're gonna show you how to finish out the row. So we're again, proceed like normal. The next stitch, we're gonna do a front post double crochet. Double crochet in that exact same stitch. Next stitch is a front post double crochet. And in our last double crochet of the round, we are just going to put, and we're gonna put our double crochet in our double crochet and a front post around our last double crochet. Around that same, it's around the same last one. And that's it, that's it, feeds that completes the round and we are done increasing. So, because it's a small hat, so you know, we only have we got like a three inch diameter for our hat. All right, now I am interrupting this video because it's later. And so this, like says that I mentioned before that this was that had a small diameter and it just turned out it is a small hat probably more for a doll than a baby but we decided we're going to make this hat a little bit bigger and we're going to do another row of increases so I'm also showing you if we want to change colors so if we wanted to change colors we would pick up we would just pick up the stitch in the new color Right, so this we are going to chain three like before and then we're going to do a front post around the next stitch and back post double crochet around the next stitch and front post double crochet around the next stitch All right, so we're going to do an increase over the next two stitches. So we're going to do a regular double crochet in the next stitch. And a front post double crochet around that same stitch. And also for the next one, we're going to do a double crochet in like normal, like in that double crochet. And do a front post double crochet around that same stitch. All right, and the next four we are not increasing, so we're going to do a back post around the next stitch, then a front post around the next stitch, a back post double crochet around the next stitch. and a front post double crochet around the next stitch. And then we're going to increase over the next two, double crochet in the double crochet like normal. Do a front post double crochet around that same stitch. And repeat that again, a double crochet in the double crochet and a front post double crochet 
around a double crochet. So we're going to repeat what we did around. Back post in the next ditch. A front post double crochet in the next ditch. Back post double crochet in the next ditch. Come on. You good. There we are. And a front post double crochet in the next ditch. And then our increases in the next two stitches. So we're going to do a double crochet like normal and a front post double crochet around that same stitch. And do that again. A double crochet in the next stitch and a front post around the same double crochet. Alright, you're going to repeat that established pattern around and then when we're done you're going to proceed, we're going to proceed on the video like like how this one was done. So, alright. And then I'm going to keep going like this and then at the end of the video we'll show how this will compare to this one. So we're going to join with our beginning chain three and then we chain three. So the beginning chain three always represents a back post double crochet. So the next stitch we're going to do a front post double crochet. The next stitch is a back post double crochet. And we have again next stitch is a front post double crochet. And the next stitch is the back post double crochet. And that's it, you repeat that around. Front post. And back post. So we're at the end of the row, so we're going to always end a row on our front post double crochet. And then join. Chain three. And just repeat that row for approximately, that was reach row four, so I've been. I, Get on about approximately 14 rows, so about 10 more rows, or whatever length you want. If you want to flip it up, so it's like a that you have a brim, you're gonna to want to do more rows. So, all right, I'm gonna continue on for about 14 rows, and I think that about finishes off our hat. And then I will show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so now that we have finished our hat, this is. When we had started off, this was part of my original pattern. It is, it is a little small. It's like it only probably probably be only fit a ten diameter head, and it is about four inches, and that is like fourteen rows. And here's the other hat where I did the extra row of increase. I also had a bigger hook for this one. I went for an eye hook for this, but you can still stay with an H. So yeah, this is, yeah, this is much wider. It will probably fit like a 14 to 15 inch head and it does stretch, and it do stretch a little bit. And I think, and we got this, this is five inches and I can figure out how many rows. So we have, we have 15 rows for this one. So yeah, nice ribbed hat pattern. One for your doll or for a preemie size and an option to make it fit for a baby. So if you did like this video, please give it a like. Want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you always for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye now.